Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, we're going on a night fishing trip for blues and flatheads. That fish is hooked, and that's a good fish. These may be the same fish. I do not know. That's a good fish. I do not, know. I do not think this fish knows that he's hooked yet. I'm trying to get him away from the anchor line. It's a heavy fish. It's a good fish. Like I said, look at that, look at that rod. That's a big fish. I hope you can see what it's doing to that big cat fever rod. Net in place here. All right. This one came on shad off the deeper side of the boat. It's a good little test on this PC Fun reel. What we got here coming up. Got at least one other line here. It's gonna be in the way. Trying to finagle some stuff, guys. I think we're just gonna have a mess here in a second with lines. I'm just gonna try to wrangle him up here. Might not be able to see me as well, but hopefully we'll see this fish when we net it. That's a good one. There we go. There he is. Good old flathead. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, let's get him in the boat. Not as big as I thought. I thought he was going to be bigger than that. Good looking fella there. Pretty good fish. Love catching them, boy. Ain't the monster we're looking for. But, a heck of a fight. That sucker was digging like he was 30 pounds. I thought it was a lot bigger. Good looking fish. Let's get him back alive. Boom. That one actually came on a piece of uh, cut gizzard chad. I've got four baits out that are live and I got four of them that are cut and that's what this was. Now on this trip I'm using live bait which were white perch and also some cut bait, which were gizzard shad. Uh, I also used some of the white perch as cut bait, but the thing I was noticing with the live bait, and this happens a lot on our lakes because we've got flathead blues and channels in there, is uh, these live baits will get hit, crushed, and nothing really consumes the bait. Uh, you can see the bite marks on them. You can see where they've been hit. Uh, you can see scales knocked off of them, but whatever's hitting them is not taking the bait. Uh, you'll see the rod move a little bit, but no real takedown. Generally, what we think this is, is channel cats. Occasionally you'll catch one trying to eat one of these baits. A uh, flathead has more than enough power to engulf the bait. The one thing about a flathead is they don't have really a lot of crushing power, uh, like a channel cat or a blue. So uh, these baits are being hit, crushed, and not taken, and we're bringing them in dead. But kept putting baits in the water, live and cut, and eventually we caught some fish. All right, guys, we're just checking baits, and all my live baits have been crushed and killed. Uh, usually, that's channel cats doing that. I just want to check this one. Something had actually 
latched on to it. So we got a fish that hit one of the live baits. I don't know that this fish even knows it's hooked yet. This is one that was right on the bank. Oh, another small flathead. Nice small one. Hey, hey, Sama, 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 you ate that thing too, didn't you, buddy? Ah, uh, there we go. Sorry, fella. Simmer, simmer. I know your throat hooked. Doesn't happen often, but this one got throat hooked, so we are gonna let him have that hook. Simmer. There we go. You get to keep the hook, buddy. Thanks for the fight, Dave. <laughs> the future right there, guys. Two flatheads. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, gonna let him have the hook on that one. I'll retie that, no big deal. But uh, get him released. Now this fish was gut hooked, or hooked deep at least. It was in the bottom of the throat toward the back. I opted to just cut the line off close to the hook what happens with something like this is a lot of people say they rust out what i believe actually happens on these hooks is they form basically a pocket of dead material almost like a callus around the hook uh, and it eventually dies separates from the body falls out with the hook uh, you'll see this a lot of time in the corner of a fish's mouth where they've got a hook in there where there'll be a little divot a place where this happens so it's better to do that than try popping the uh, hook out and doing further damage to the fish. So we got that done, tied on a new hook, and uh, got back to fishing. All right, guys, I think we may have a channel cat going on this rod. Oh, let's see if he's still there. I say a channel cat because it was barely rolling this bait around. I had this one up on a shallow little hump, and he's barely bopping. I think he's a channel cat. These medium heavy rods, they don't fold. It's a little fish. And this is a little fish. I need a relatively decent bait. Tore up my good shad. Oh well. Simmer, 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 simmer. Nobody has to get hurt here. Nobody has to get hurt. Boom. So after catching this channel catfish, I've got a flathead and a channel cat in the boat. Now, this wasn't a big fish, but I show it for this reason, because on our lake, we want the slam, the Lake Wiley slam. That's a blue, a flathead, and a channel catfish. So I've got two of the three. So now it was time to put those baits back in the water and try to get that blue. All right, guys, just had a rod go off, but I think it's around something, and it is. Uh. He is around something. We will either pull him loose or not. Uh, that does not feel like it's gonna pop loose. We'll see if he swims off of it. Seen the rod go, seen a uh, herd splash. Uh, he's around a stump or a rock or something. I'm gonna put it in free spool, put it in clicker and let it sit. So what happens on this fish is, it is wrapped around a stump or a rock. It's feeling like a stump to me, just from the, the feel of it. I can feel it around it. Felt like I could pull the fish up to it, but I couldn't get it past it. So what I do is, I disengage the reel, push the button on it, turn on the clicker, put it back in the holder, let the fish relax, give it some slack line, and see if it swims off. Pulling some line off now. 
right there. Fish is still on there. Let's just see if he goes in the right direction to get untangled. Got him loose. Got him loose. Got him loose. Got him loose. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. This time it did. I'm trying to go deep. I don't blame him. He was right on the bank. That was about four feet off the bank right there. There's our blue. There is our Lake Wiley Slam, folks. Oh. Nice fish. Glad we got you off of that sucker. Dang, <clears throat> bigger than I thought. pound fish. All right, guys. Good looking blue cat out here at night. We got our slam now. We've got a flathead, a channel, now a blue. Back in the water. Get this. Well, bam, there you go. The fish swam off. It came off of it. I uh, was able to get it back to the boat and get my hands on it and get some shots of it. Uh, turns out to be a pretty decent blue, a little bit bigger than I thought. And, uh, Got the fish. Sometimes it just takes some patience and persistence to make that happen. But uh, those fish were coming up on some of the shallower stuff. This was along the bank where I was catching these flatheads and uh, catching the channel cats. But this next fish came out of a little deeper water. I, got, I think we got one going on this run. Oh, yep, yeah, he's there. I'm off the deep side. This one. out here in a little deeper water. Oh, what side's he going to? He's right around the anchor. He cleared it. Good, good, good. Cleared the anchor. Sometimes you get lucky. I'm going to work this sucker to this side of the boat. See if I can show him to you. Look at this way. It's a boom. Was not a fan of the light, apparently. Sometimes I don't like the light. Dang, big old male. I love it, I love it, I love it. Big old male going nuts. I figured that worked two out of three times. Oh, that's a fat male. Oh, this one's got a short leader on it. He is angry. It's crazy. This fish has another one that's hooked down the throat. Dang it, I almost had it. <clears throat> Got him. 
Got him free. Got the hook out of him. He was hooked deep. He's a big male. What's he gonna weigh? Oh, 17 pounds. It'd have been 20 pounds before it spawned. What a massive mouth on that sucker. That fish, beautiful fish. Big male. He'd been spawning. Good one. Two good blues. Flatheads. Bam. Now on this trip, what I did was I actually went out really late, uh, I should say. I wasn't there at sunset. Uh, I waited until about two o'clock in the morning to get on the water and uh, was fishing from that two to sunrise little swing there. Uh, over the past several trips, that is when I have been catching fish. Uh, I have been getting out there at dark and the first two, three, four hours were not producing fish. On this trip, I decided to wait, get out there a little bit later and it was productive and it paid off with a couple of blues in the teens and a couple of flatheads. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.